This episode is brought to you by TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com. TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com is your all access to culture. Check out cultural merchandise like leggings, hats, mini boxing gloves, and bags. Also, t shirts like hip hop, nature, rock bands, reggae, and dark fantasy. Fast shipping worldwide. That's TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com. Now, let's check out this episode. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have probably one of the most legendary guests we've ever spoken to. Listen, this man, when it came to select, and he selected two of the biggest, no, I'm lying to you, three of the biggest sounds in his career. He managed some of the biggest artists. He produced some of the biggest hits until 2021. He's still active in the music business right now with one of his songs on a number one album across America right now. You know, we have in the building today, we have the legendary Josh Screw in the building today. What's going on, Big Boss? Well, we have to give thanks first and foremost. You know, we are alive, you know, so we're going to give thanks to the most I if you really protecting us and guiding us up to this present day because, you know what I mean? So we're giving thanks to be alive. So thank you very much for having me, you know what I mean? And I must say, you know, the world, the whole world know me as just true. But also, my name is Paul Love. And the crazy thing with your name, just the fact that your last name is really Love, that right there knows that you were born to do amazing things. Yes, I, I I can say yes to that, you know. Yes, because you know, out of Greenwich Farm, Greenwich Farm, Greenwich Town, that's where I come from, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Because on this program here, we like to take it right from the beginning and then bring it up to 2021. So then, okay, you gave us a indication. So let's go into that. You did you grow up in Greenwich Farm, or you were yes. born here, or what was a Greenwich Farm? Greenwich connection? Farm is where I've come from, you know. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in Greenwich Palm, and being in Greenwich Palm at the time, the area of Greenwich Palm was a musical area because you have sound system coming through, you have sound system growing up down there. But me personally, I I live in Greenwich Palm, and my mother my mother sent me to go and learn a trade. So I am, I am a professional welder, electrical welder. That's what that's my professional job that i do but mm -hmm. doing that job at the same time there was a sound system in 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 greenwich farm run by a man named dexter campbell and, and the sound system with name echo vibration big monster so, sound yes yeah, so i i use my lunch time to go and rally around the sound but at the same time i never get around the sound but being that i was a good cook I used to help, I go there and help cooking the, the fish tea for the session later on. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, meanwhile, I was doing the, the doing all of that. I was looking at the sound, you know, say so one day I will play it. So what I usually do now with the, with the, the, with the selector, which is Dexter Campbell, I learn in the music, I, I study what, how he plays the music and how he plays the music. And what I do again, do when he take the music out of the, the folder, I wipe it off even I put it back where it comes from. But this time when you take it out and put it back, you study the name of it and study, put it back where it comes from. So he spread out there with the record, but I was studying him, studying the record then and see how he played it and how he, you know, learn from him. Dexter Campbell. And what and year then, would you would you say you got to um you got to echo vibration? Oh, that was in the sixties, you know. So I'll tell you the truth. I am not really good at the years, you know, because what happened? Mm -hmm. Everything fall in place because when I when I leave Echo Vibration, I move on to Ray Symbolic. Hold on, but I don't want you to move from Echo Vibration yet. We're going to get to Ray Symbolic. It's just with Echo Vibration. Okay, even with years, I know you're not good with the years, so we won't get into too many years here. Do you remember which artists were around Echo Vibration when you got there? Well, Echo Vibration wasn't, wasn't really an artist song, but in Greenwich Farm, you have Sammy Dredd, you know, you have, you know, you have Barry Brown, you have Tristan Palmer, you know, you have the, you know, the Ella, the Ella, Eptones and all them things, because those were the people we were playing, the Eptones and, and Bob Marley and the Wheelers and all them kind of thing, you know? But 
those times it was like a disco because you used to play the the, the foreign tune you come from New York, the South one, but you play you play soul and you play some reggaeton, you play some wallets, you play some some blue beat. So you've been learning the the, the, the the old music thing that you, you have to play some blue beat. You have to play some reggae. You have to play some soul. You have to play some R and B. You know, you play jazz, you play everything because with echo vibration, them time they have Sunday session, you have during the week session, you have Wednesday session. So Sunday session is when a man come kick back and them time they you know he just play all nice music come and a drinking fish tea. Fish and roast and all them kind of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how it used to go. Okay, so then this was more of a disco song. So then at one time, because I know there was a lot of sound, a lot of artists on the actual system. So when did it go from disco to like almost like rubber dub style? No, you see, you see, you see, um, Echo Vibration never get to rubber dub style. Mm -hmm. Never. That was a that was a a proper disco song where. Play all quality music, mm -hmm. weddings, Sunday session, mm -hmm. you know, them kind of session. Because they used to have a session where people look to come and just relax and hear all kind of nice music. So we were learning about all them music, the drifters and them, and the Dell and the Dell Phonics and, the, and you know, all them kind of music, you know, Ronnie Dyson. So we, I learned about all those kind of music, Ronnie Dyson and, you know, the, you know, the top music. Mm -hmm. on echo vibration and when do you remember when you went from being the cook to actually the selector and start playing on the song how did how did that yes, happen? yes oh it happened mm -hmm. the, the, the selector who selected the song could make it that night one night mm -hmm. and then the next best person who knew about the record was me and when i get in there i i deliver Everybody was impressed, but they never realized it. While I was there, I was learning the, the, the craft to select, come out of one music with the same beat, keep the people on the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you keep the same beat. Mm -hmm. Yes, You're so that's, what craft. that's what happening now. So when when I get that one night, I really deliver myself. I met my name as a selector, so I'm now moving from the, the cook to be the selector mm -hmm. then my selecting my selecting position move up now and then i kind of outgrow echo vibration mm -hmm. then i can't remember exactly what i mean to race him like i race him like i'm a really nice sound because we them time you know used to have stan soul merch and used to have Gemini used to have Virgo. There was a disco period and all them sound around. Gemini, Virgo, Stan Solmerton was one of the big sound me. The play not not foreign tune and playing you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So Ray Symbolic now was one of that kind of sound too as well. But Ray Symbolic did have more clout where you know a bigger sound, the sound so nicer. And we you know, we used to buy a record from all these people down. We used to try to get the music from foreign because everybody wanted to play something that the next sound up. So when the crowd come, they could hear something nice. But they never hear yet. <laughs> okay. So Ray Simali now have the money and have the quality sound. So the Ray Simali get big now, playing out and playing as a disco. He start to make him name. And when he make him name now, we get into the dog business because Ray Simali and King Tubbies becomes good friend. And oh. King Tubbies ruled to one of the, you know, King Tubbies was one of the, with Daddy Uri, big song. So Ray Simali you now loved the, he was a music person, Ray Simali, bless for him soul. Mm -hmm. him love music that him, him start to get the dog them from King Tubbies because he realized you now the crowd start to come now and we, and we, 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 we string up the song out of Chisholm Avenue mm -hmm. and People start to come and crowd dance and go and punch on me and he make him name now and start to move out of town and play for OK Ram Jam, my black rape OK Ram Jam now and then I have to bring in a DJ named Rankin Joe. Okay, this is what I want to know. Come right before we get to the Rankin Joe, did you get your name Just Screw at this time or you got your name Just Screw when you linked with Joe? When I linked with Joe because Joe at them time they were, I was no smiling and seriousness and but it was a it was a meditation, mm -hmm. thinking about the music. Because I remember, no, you know, 
while we was playing them time the song, we never have no headphone to listen to a song. So your memory has to be so good. Mm-hmm. Your memory has to be one hundred percent. When I explain to people, say when you look and see all the records, them and pack out the forty five and the twelve bit and the LP, them my brain linked to all of them. Cause while 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 that song is going on, it's your brain click and say, you know, say if you fling that inside here, mm-hmm. it it will make the code even get nicer. Mm-hmm. And I could go so bam 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 and find it quick. Then when ranking duo come now, it's real similar set up with the mic thing and the DJ thing and it was a good DJ. Yeah. So then that's where it is. Cause I seen somebody refer to you as the stone face selector. That means you were always serious when you were selecting yourself. Yeah, yeah, serious, serious, you know. We was a serious selector because them time the Jamaica was a serious time because them time they are PNP and labor, right? Mm-hmm. So he, them then it was it was a serious time in the history of the sound business, but you did have a lot of sound going on. But you know, I was serious because I was thinking about the music, but I was doing my job good anyway. Good, mm-hmm. good. Okay, so then Ray Symbolic. So then when you came around now, he started cutting dubs from um, Tubby. So then now you guys started to go into more the rubber dub hardcore style opposed yeah. to the disco style. We was in everything because. When we get a big dance to play, I step up and I draw the selection them. I met my name around race symbolic. I started as I say with the, with the, with the vibes, mm-hmm. but when I go on race symbolic, no, I met me turn big selector. Me turn big selector and my mother never know say, my mother, my mother hear the man, me a hide and come out and go play. So my mother never even know tell them ten then. My mother never know say when she hear about one big slit and him just go a pile of name. So crazy. Crazy. So then now you and Rankin Joe, you guys really are the one to really now move race symbolic song right now. To the next level because Rankin Joe started to chat hard. Mm-hmm. And 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 me now. Ranking you with a big bad DJ a chat hard. I mean, you know, if you draw his selection, we keep up with him. So I'm feeding Ranking Joe with a big bad tune. Them. So the same, the same treatment come with the next tune. Cause we look, cause we, we have to watch the crowd. Too, you know, you're looking around at the crowd and see the crowd. I move. So once you have the crowd a dance, you keep them. But first, You'd have to bring the crowd from out the road and they down the car. Most time when the sound sing up, the, the, the road block off. Mm-hmm. But when the crowd out the door and hear the music and the gates start to tear down, the bikes them are come in, people are come in, mm-hmm. racing by like a bond the place, racing by like ton big bad sound, I play up a nine down Robin Avenue, we are play a OK Ram Jam, we are play downtown a Jubilee Hall, we are play all over the place we are up, we are play everywhere race my a big, big sound. Mm-hmm. Big, big sound. And I know, okay, so when Rankin Joe came on, I know you guys had brought in some other artists also. Was this right away or this was later well, on down? Well, what happened? What happened? Race my like boss. Dillinja was a big DJ. So you have Dillinger and every artist, every artist, when they say the place to be tonight or tomorrow or whatever, is real similar because you're here, you're here just go a draw Barrington Levy. You understand? So we and Barrington Levy make a connection from then. Me a draw Barrington Levy because Henry John Jolas mm-hmm. come touch me and say, just go. You see, we got in a summer thing. We draw in all the big selector them, music. You have draw Dennis Brown, you have draw Gregory, Gregory Isaac, you have draw every, every big tune, every bad tune. And then you have draw Studio One, Hansard Studio One, Real Rock Studio Run, some big bad. And then Rankin do a kick off and I do the weather, because when it's raining, mm-hmm. and Rankin do I do the weatherman scan. Rankin do a big bad DJ, Rankin do Yes, yes. So then you, then you were explaining how the other artists started to um, come. No, well, I just everybody, how you go with sound system? Everybody want to get a chat off of the big sound. Mm-hmm. So you have Dillinger come, you have everybody come, everybody come and they dance. Then we see Malika play up up on the park road or anywhere in my play, everybody wants to be there. 
Because you are a chatter for them. You are a chatter for you say, when the cassette, when the cassette gone up foreign tumor man in them year, you buy Spanish. Because them tell me, the whole world want a cassette from Jamaica. Race Malika done the place. Mm -hmm. Then, you, but you, 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 I can mention at that time too, you did have um, Jalob with uh, Brigadier Jerry. Mm -hmm. And also, you did have, you have Soul Atani, because Toby stopped playing now. Mm -hmm. So you were, I was on Soul Atani and, and all kind of thing, and then Soul Atani becomes other name, and Danny Dredd. Uh, Danny Dredd and I have a history, you know. Danny what, Dredd. Do you, what do you mean by the history? Tell me about your history with you and Danny Dredd. Danny Dredd, Danny Dredd is a Greenwich farmer, I'd say, you know. Mm -hmm. And what happened to Danny Dredd now? Danny Dredd's mother and my mother are always in business. Mm. So, them tell me now, you, you, you try to be a good boy because my mother is going to depend on me to send me, go down to Danny Dredd's mother's house to take care of the business. Mm. But Danny Dredd now have a brother, I don't remember his name, he have a sound system. That is a part of Miss Houghton before Danny mm. Dredd. We have a sound system, and, and, and when we go down there and stream up the sound, we always like to go and tell me the sound I play. So we get a little play for Danny Dredd's sound too as well. So me and Danny did that too, you. I get a play for Danny Dredd's brother's sound. So all the while, me want to go down to Danny Dredd's mother's yard to play the bill because Danny Dredd and my mother in a business. So me carry down the business and go to play the song. My mother, to me, take her. Me all go quick and me, when you are talking about reach quick because the quicker you reach, you get, you get to get more time mm -hmm. on the song. Mm -hmm. So I done all of that. Yeah. Crazy. So and me and Danny Dredd become, me and Danny Dredd, he make him name to a big selector. Mm -hmm. And also, there was another selector again right, named Archie. Archie was an um, Gemini. Gemini, yeah. Three Gemini. So you have three big selectors from Greenwich Farm. Mm -hmm. Me, Danny Dredd and Archie. Archie, I play Gemini. Me, I play Real Symbolic. And Danny Dredd, I play the Roots or Atani or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was a nice period in time when every sound of a play good. And at the time, every year, say, I saw on a paper every sound, every sound every song I present them, say every sound I put up them, put up them one box. Mm -hmm. At that but, time there, when everything is going. So who would you say, so you and Danny Dredd basically came out at the exact same time, you would say? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I think, I think me, my go ahead quicker than him. Mm -hmm. But he was, he was right. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know, but it, he was right there. Me and him learn off of his brother's song, Danny Dredd crazy that that i didn't even know that his brother was in music before he was that i didn't know you learned something yeah i'm a song man i can't remember them time they know mm -hmm. have a sound system once you can afford to have a sound system is a good thing but you should have the combination to take it to the next level because me i draw a selection and take it to the next level ranking joe come in and, and a chat hard too and then another dj come out a singer come a singer might come and say you want to touch up with a rhythm them, let me draw them selection and sing. Because most time, you know, mm -hmm. sound system and the music business was going hand to hand because the man might have some lyrics and he come test it out in the dance. Mm -hmm. And once you cross it forward, mm -hmm. you know, say, you know, he can't go for record. Mm -hmm. That was the connection there. Okay, because as I was saying earlier in the conversation, that I know some of the artists that passed through Ray Symbolic at this time here would have been Rankin Dread. Um, I know as a singer, Errol Dunkley passed through. Um, Errol Dunkley there... passed through, but Rankin Dread, Rankin Dread was in, in Jamaica when Ray Symbolic had gone. Rankin Dread passed through upon Ray Symbolic when, when Ray Symbolic, when, when Errol Dunkley, when Errol Dunkley, um, make a massive bit up there in England here. Yeah. Okay, Fred. So Errol Dunkley now decided to come. You, you see, it happened, everything happened so fast because when Errol Dunkley decided to come to Jamaica mm -hmm. to to bring to bring up um 
whenever I don't decide to come to Jamaica to bring up, it was Thurgab who was playing at the time. Because we played the two songs them back to back. Whenever I'm not ready to say, you stop here, you show your start. That's all. Okay, so okay, so then this before we even get to the stereograph, because I know it was this, it was race symbolic, stereograph, and then back to race symbolic. So then before we even get to stereograph, I want to finish off the symbolic first. Okay, so then okay, so you said Dunkley was catalyst to get you guys over there. So then okay, because I know when did race symbolic become the champion song of Jamaica? Was it before? The first time you were there or the second time you guys came back? First time. Rare Symbolic is the Rare Symbolic is the one of the breed, one of the sound. Rare Symbolic created King's Turk of I Fi. Rare Symbolic created Daddy Rice song King's Turk of I Fi. And we will get to that because this is how it exactly happened. Because them time that you know. We have Mikey, bless him soul, Mikey, the emperor of faith. Mm-hmm. I touch him soul a little bit too, you know, because, you know, say, them time every sound man, every sound man wanted, wanted the top selector. Mm-hmm. And, and I was. So, you know, say, me and Mikey faith a friend. Me and Jack Ruby a friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you're moving around. Yeah, because... The music was good and the good to know Fiat, the good to know Jack Ruby because Jack Ruby come out with some big bad tune with Burning Spear them time. They were born the place and you need a dub from them too. Because mm-hmm. he might make dub, he might, he might be selection. And we need, we need top selection to play upon song. So when Burning Spear hit the scene, we have to get some dub off of Burning Spear too. And then Jack was a friend, the same soul. Crazy. Jack Ruby crazy okay another name that i know was in that came around too was somebody like a general echo when did he get involved somewhat in the sound general echo general echo was in he was there you know he added a little sound because general echo song was a little song mm-hmm. down in west kingston bless him so well mm-hmm. general echo sound did you, well, that's dumb tongue sound, oh, oh, slackness sound. Mm. Old political girl, I'm a run around General Echo. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, you're asking some good questions. So, General Echo, no, we clash with him a couple of times because we clash with him when we, when we, when we get to um, Sturgeon Wi Fi, dumb tongue sound, and we are playing dumb tongue. And we clash with him to, you know, big massive crowd come. He might just slap this lyrics and ranking Joe. A two lyrics too. So a two big lyrics master, one slacker than one. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, but in film, while 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 Errol Dunkley come to Jamaica, he, he, he come, we, we can't remember you know, the story mix up. Mm-hmm. We left now, ranking Joe want to go around. Because every DJ want to go around Daddy Ride, because Daddy Ride make him name as the teacher. So every DJ want to go around So Ranking Joe said to me one day, him want to go around Daddy Ride's song. Mm-hmm. And me know Ranking Joe we make a name as a, as a duo. Just Ranking Joe and Just Go. Mm-hmm. So at the time, he persuaded me to leave Ray Symbolic. <laughs> And this time, Ray Symbolic is the big, bad, heavy champion song at this time here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Running the place. Mm-hmm. And drinking to persuade me if he go check you right. Mm-hmm. And we go check you right. We go down the water house on a railroad, go check you right. You right. You right never have a proper song. You have, you have a little thing with him. I go and play right in the a proper song. But he was, as an artist, he was the big artist. So then that's what Rankin Joe said he wants to link with him as the big artist. Yeah, because they want, everybody wants to go around the teacher. Because Rankin Joe wants to learn more. Mm-hmm. Because just like you, Brown, you, Brown, when, when Daddy Rice sick, you, Brown, can't fit in. So most DJ they want to. Sound like Daddy right? copy his style. Cause them then they have ranking joy, have ranking job, it's a ranking time. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so when we go check Daddy, check Daddy right now, 
And that's why, that's why I don't he know me, he's a big selector. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you see, see so much, the story is so mixed up. Because when me there are going to me Steve, we're going to listen to a song named Black Harmony I fi Okay. And who was who was on Black Harmony at that time there? Justich. Mm-hmm. Justich was the selector. Mm-hmm. Justich, bless him soul. He was the selector. He was the selector. And the mic man, same time. Mm. I mean, they are going to farm, and I'm a string of rounds. So, my teeth out of my yard and gone. Or stand up, a little you, the stand up, so, and watch every single thing that all them string up the sound. Put the boxes of the ear back yourself. Mm-hmm. Every little thing. And, and, and them string up the sound, and then them say, testing time now. Mm. And then when I start, cause steel and up in there. Steal and up in the, in the tree. Mm-hmm. I'm watch everything with them know. And then them test the steel and them test the treble box. And one of the things where I where I find so beautiful as a little youth to see. When they come down to the base now and then cause everything was separate, you know. The bass up on the one channel, the treble up on the one channel, the mid up on the one channel, steel on. But when when stitch them go so now I'm bring in the bass and you start. It was so sweet for you, the bass are coming and pan the low. The bass are coming out for the low, and you have a treble up there and the and the hand. Was so lovely. I I was I was I was overwhelmed. Sound system gone and my blood. <laughs> but before the good thing that used to make up the good thing. So me said to myself, when me said just teach my piano my piano so me say me want to make it better. Play it better at the time, make a different style. So when me get the chance to bring say ranking duo for come in, me a select fee, me know it was better way because ranking duo can concentrate on lyrics and you know, concentrate on picking out record. Me a draw the selection team. Understand. Okay, so instead of just having a selector, a selector doing DJ and everything, you said, okay, you'll do the record and ranking Joe would do the mic. So then that makes your team even so much better. Because you were used to do it too, you were used to select and put on record and chat. But when me and Ranking Joe play, I mean, lift the name Ranking Joe and say, um, here comes part two, and that, 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 and that was part one, and boom. We, 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 you know what I mean? The connection start to work better. Everybody used to say, you need a selector and a DJ that work better. Because when I concentrate and find the music, and when I concentrate and chat it off. Mm-hmm. Ranking. Because, because that wasn't something that was common at that time there one no, time no 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 we, we I, I can't even remember maybe we created it okay a lot of things we a lot of things we created you know what i mean because real symbolic is a creative song because real symbolic was a good song because real now could have get him the mixer because most song never have a mixer but real symbolic get this mixer and come through them in front of you, and when we realize now, say, you can you can ease off the rhythm and the mic around the same way. Big creation. <laughs> we start to go, this is what happened now. One night, the night, five minutes, a little story, so together, everything is one. Hmm. When I, when I, we, we got created, we got created, King's Story, we have done the place, you know. Mm-hmm. No, you know, we even we even played on a Cornwall Beach against Ray Symbolic. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. So you and Rankin Joe were playing Stereograph versus Ray Symbolic. Okay, who was playing Ray Symbolic that night there? Um, I, I remember the DJ named Ray High, mm-hmm. but I can't remember the selector because they couldn't find a they couldn't find a replacement for me. Mm-hmm. Cause he created. Big selector we created. So Ray, I was doing the sound. So you know, say you have to, you have to defend your corner. So Stereograph was terrorizing Ray Symbolic <laughs> because them time eh, Stereograph get big selection because Daddy Ray and, and, and King Tubbies, them a family. And 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 then that, and then when I talk to King Tubbies, King Tubbies see Stereograph I fight. As a king to his eye fight. So he was feeding me. Why the dog we get the dog? Any wicked bad tune, we get the mean girl, we get this, we are, you know what I mean? 
So at this time here, when you're playing stereograph, you said King Tubby's had stopped playing at this time here now. Yeah, done. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. So then you guys are getting all of the exclusive dubs and everything from King Tubby. From him. From yeah. him. Real symbolic was getting the dub. Mm -hmm. Daddy Rice sound grew. Mm -hmm. Because we left Real Symbolic to build up Sturgey of I-5. When Daddy Rice, mm -hmm. when, when Daddy Rice, with reason with Daddy Rice, and say, yeah, man, like the high them. Come take over the sound. <laughs> Daddy Rai, I forgot to tour. Mm -hmm. not a rebel album. Mm -hmm. And Daddy Rai, leave me. And, and, the, and him lady named Vivian. She gave love to the sound and do everything. And being that I was a big sound man, I talked to her and said, we need some big boxes. Mm -hmm. We need big box. And the man, <laughs> the man who built the box in for real simile, when he met, I, I was, I was thinking, say, we said to him, say, well, I'm, I'm playing Sturgab I we need some boxes, say, for Sturgab. Mm -hmm. The man built the box and look like we're a Simali box. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then again, this just, this just makes it more of a rival because again, you guys bucked them up on the beach. It's almost like, Stereograph at that time was you might as well have said it was Ray Symbolic at that time there. Yeah, because Ray Symbolic was a song. I want a big bad song going down. Build up Ray Symbolic and Stereograph. I run it with Bill, go build Stereograph, build Stereograph, and did it with Stereograph for some years. And Stereograph, I run the place still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we decided seven years. Ray Symbolic now was like a father figure to me because I never grew up with a father. Mm -hmm. So real simple with my father figure, I admire what he does. And I have to be a youth. Eh? Not everything that he does, you, you have to start up your own mind. Mm -hmm. But I admire him for his enthusiasm with the sound business. And if him if he say a man or a man to be have some record, he said, come and jump in the car, drive and a man to be to, to get the record. Mm -hmm. So real simple like, no, come and we got live on a cat brain pen, you know? live a cat brain pen now, you know. We live a Cockburn pen near, near that where I live a clinking of him and live a cotton, me live a booby child. Mm -hmm. So me, me in a year, I'm also to daddy where I as well too. Cause you see, as a young man, we never have no father. When you grow up in big man, yeah, you start to have him as a father figure. We said, daddy where I teach, daddy where I, daddy where I teach me. I learn a lot of things from daddy where I. Mm -hmm. Daddy where I, Keep himself clean, looking good. Every time we're on the sound, people must see him smelling and looking good. Daddy right, keep himself sharp. Daddy right, start to have them beaver come down from far in film and, and we are copy them too and everything and him make sure he said him looking good. So we, we admire all these things that this big, big DJ look. And they see him step in the dance. Mm -hmm. him, him look the best. Daddy right, bless him soul. For sure. We're, we're going to get into that Daddy Roy stuff because if anybody knows, you of all people really know about Daddy Roy because you've been with him for like a long time around those times. Because there was even a dance that I found where it was a stereograph versus stereophonic. And I think this was 79 and it was Rankin Joe versus, I think it might have been General Echo, you know, and it sounded like stereograph was killing. No, General Echo, General Echo and stereophonic. Mm -hmm. Yes, General Echo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a selector named Fluxy. And yes. the one was, all three of them died one when we go to England yeah. Fluxy, mm -hmm. General Echo, and Big John, I think. Mm -hmm. Run that song. You clash with them too. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm telling you. In that dance there. Do you remember that dance there where yeah. stereograph versus stereophonic? You remember that dance? But I, I'm going to tell you the tune. Mm -hmm. I, I play that so much dance because. All the songs that I play was the number one song I play from Friday. On the Tuesday, dance I keep. And people find me to keep a Tuesday dance because Wednesday, they take a break. Monday dance I keep. And on Wednesday, no Tuesday dance now I keep. And people start to keep doing dance on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So you're playing, you're playing out so much. So again, somebody like you that's done so much in your career, I could understand. And especially these dances we're talking about is way in the 70s. So we're talking about like, over 40 years ago so clearly you're not going to remember word for word everything that happened back then that's no that's i couldn't i couldn't I, I i have people 
I have people who remember mm -hmm. everything. The other man in Canada, when he calls me sometime, he drags my memory. Because Sturgraf, Sturgraf gets so big mm -hmm. that one of the time, all of the rude boy, all of the rude boy and the bad man in Mount Jamaica, I follow Sturgraf because Sturgraf have the, have the song where you have to go to hear all of the music. Mm -hmm. So Sturgraf go to him in the days of calling Sturgraf because he must have shot up a fire. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then. We get so big that sometimes when we go down to a bar, cats go buy. Because them times we start to go to a bar, cats go shop now because we have money. Mm -hmm. We take taxi, we never have no care, but we can take taxi. We go to a taxi, we take me a ranking to go shop. When we go all down to town and, and people see me and say, ranking to me, lyrics are for them things, they say, screw go to town and the crowd get around and say, him play a stir gap. People get around and them, and them when them people see me, because I remember, you know, me that used to come from my mother home, well-groomed youth, man as youth, and them thing there. Men a road boy, people can't believe, say, Daluku, Daluku. <laughs> Daluku, you know, when, when we go at Sunday school, and I him a pretty big bad son. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was there. Because a lot of people, if you look at it, a lot of people would think that it was really when I think Josie and all of them were around Stereograph. That's when it really got its bust. But a lot of people don't realize that was a second time for Stereograph. Yeah, that was second time. Because the first time Charlie Chapman was there as a, as a apprentice DJ. Inspector Willie, all of those guys, I want to say, we, we have a culture in Jamaica. Sometimes we don't want to speak of our roots and where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. Inspector Willie stand there. Inspector Willie, bless him, so him gone. Inspector Willie was my driver. He was my driver to make sure that me and Rankin Joe get to the people them dance on time. And he, well, what he does, because our stereograph was around, because stereograph was like a, a school, you know. There was a set of man who appeared just to the mind we do how him string up the sound and on the selector. Mm -hmm. You have a man who I watch ranking you as a DJ. So I can't remember everybody's name, but you have Inspector Willie. Yeah, you, you know, you have so much guys, you have Scratchy, you have Puran, all these guys was around there want to be a selector. Mm -hmm. And when them see me, cause them guys, it was good for them to stand up and see somebody who delivered it properly through selection in a class. Come up with the idea in a clash kill zone. We was one of the body setter combination, combination duo, ranking you and just crew. Mm -hmm. You said clash. Do you remember any of the clashes you actually played on Stereograph at that time there? Yeah, I remember the clash with Echo a few times, you know. The clash with us sometimes. But I, I, some of them I can't even talk about. We did we go through some good clashes, you know what I mean? Up at nine, don't have an avenue. We clash with all. We clash with a lot of sound, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of sound with them time they like for we, we never have video camera at around to make people see how it happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We, we never we never get none of that. I, I, I don't remember see back myself playing on something. I see a picture when I was in England, somebody took me around the sound. Mm -hmm. But all those, because again, we're talking about, this is the seventies, we're to late seventies. So yeah. clearly there was no cell phones around. People didn't have access to a camera. We're seeing no. a video camera and these type of stuff here. Uh, the only thing people did have, everybody wanted a cassette machine. If you string up a tape, a cassette. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was the thing. You can find me and all kind of thing. Charlie, I said, Charlie Chaplin was a young DJ. Charlie Chaplin, one of the original Sturgav heights. Charlie, he was so, there. So it was Rankin Joe and Charlie. Was there anybody else that was around that time there? Oh, not not up to that level. Come, yeah, but people who come come chat. But on this song, oh yes, oh yes, somebody was there. Look at Twitch. Twitch was there. Little Twitch was there. Little Twitch, he was there. And he was a bad young DJ. Little Twitch. So he was Little Twitch. Little Twitch is an original Sturgeon by Five fan. Um, yeah. We used to put him on beer back to bring him up and make people see him. Little Twitch. 
classic. Okay, clashes. Do you remember a big dance that you played on Stereograph at this time here that you would never forget because of good, bad, or indifferent, whatever the case, it's just a dance that sticks out in your mind from those times there. The dance that I can remember. It was a dance of Solitaire Road in Cockburn Pen. Mm -hmm. Big bad dance, the place block off. You had draw selection and ranking, you had chat. Mm -hmm. Solitaire Road. And while he was around the sound, and we look around behind me, somebody was saying to Rankin Joe, uh, them telling Drake up man, you know, mm. I be man and I'm waist. Mm. With a soldier, when I look when I see the soldier, the soldier was you right, cousin. Cause all the bad man them are come a dance. Because before we polish that off, all the bad man them are come a dance. You have certain bad man that come a dance, I'm copper. Cap on the man will come a dance and, and say a man come say, Oh yeah, drink just go. I mean say we are drink kind of kin or red stripe and then throw them a man come throw them a box. Kappa used to come and dance because before when Kappa come a dance, Kappa used to come a dance with with a with a with a Jackie named Derek that Derek Adir, I think it is Derek Adir. And his nickname was Shaba. Mm. Bad boy in turn Jackie, turn bad boy, I walk one down. We did, we did. So we used to draw some, we used to draw some selection for the couple and them and then them all the man and come and then do them like dance and feel good and them and by the time them vanish and gone, because you know, you draw some selection where you know and mm -hmm. the ranking do a chat and them go. But that night, they were there a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And when we look around, we see a man a try to say, ranking Joe, tell my friend them, say them hold me. And next thing we know them do them turn round away from we head into the gate we mm -hmm. Muscle. Mm -hmm. I've been to a lot of dance where I hear shot fire. Mm -hmm. That night was a very night to stick out in my brain, even though shot so much shot fire we have to get flat. Mm -hmm. We have to get flat because that night them whole you were a cousin. Him, 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 him get himself in a very big mess. Them try and down the gate and them kill him right at the gate. Yeah. That was one of my big bad dancers. Eh? Was going well and a go on good. Solitary road. But you know, a lot of that big memories in Don Robin. Because Don Robin, we, you know, black half, big dance and dance go on nice. Because I hope town here and that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where was. Where was you, Roy, when all of this is? Was he DJing or more time touring as an artist at this time? Here? I, you, Roy, I can't. You, Roy, that particular night, you, Roy, never re, reached the dance yet. Because mm -hmm. you, Roy, too, you, Roy, because ranking Joe was the man. But when you, Roy, come, you get the highest in the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, get, yeah, yeah, get him a come in. When you, Roy, come in, you draw some, please be true and all them things that Alexander Henry, you know what I mean? I feel mm -hmm. bad too, and when chat up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he never come yet. But the dance is big and I go on and the hours there and thing. So you are right, you are right here about what happened. Well, a couple of things might happen. Can I remember can? Can you are right probably on the dance of a, a, a blazer chalice round the back or somewhere mm -hmm. before him come in. You know, so that, that, that was really, you know, them dance say, you can hear a shot of fire down a Nelson Road. Black half, Nancy, and then I dance again too. Dillinger come with Dillinger, Dillinger come with a tune name, please, sir, please, Mr. D. I'm begging you a 50 cent to buy a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And when I draw the selection, you know, on Nancy Road, and we hear, poof, poof, it's a ranky do that's what the sound can, you know. People dead. You know what I mean? Big bad dance. And I remember that selection, I draw, please, sir, please, Mr. D. I'm begging you a 50 cent. Mm -hmm. To buy a cup of tea and shut a fire hard. So this is where this is where the stereo grave came Come. in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you how long were you guys on stereograph before you went back to race symbolic? We 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 wrote here a few years, you know. Mm -hmm. A few years. Mm -hmm. We established it and we was going places, man, all over Jamaica. And what I like about stir stir gap. We started to play in the country because the country dance is nicer. Mm. When we book the song, we book the song to go to country. 
Mm-hmm. When I book out the sound, we book the sound to go all and Negril. Because it was a touring sound, you know. Mm-hmm. When we book Sturgey, we, 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 we go on a Negril. And by the time, for the, for the Friday night and the Saturday night, you done the, you done the summer in a month, you go be here. And by the time you left month, you go be here, because you just have come in, so you know. Mm-hmm. You there at Dungeon of Car Park, I play. Sturgey was playing. Yeah, so we play. So when we leave out, we, 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 that's why I know Jamaica so good you know, because the, the sound system can go everywhere. Right around the country. And do you remember a night where you yeah. guys had like a special guest that really didn't sing too much on sound? Probably like uh, Dennis Brown or uh, some one night with a one special guest that you wouldn't forget. A big, a big a big special guest sing one night which was on Ray Symbolic. Okay, so then let's, I have an idea about that, so let's not go back there yet. Was this the first time before you left or when you guys came back, this guest came on? Um, the guest the guest came on, I think it's before we leave. Okay, so let's finish the graph. We'll go back to that and then we're going to get back to to Ray. So was there any special guests that you remember on Stereograph? Yeah, we have, we have a couple of Stereograph. We used to have like Trinity and, and Dillinger and a couple of other guys, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Some of them I can't remember. You have singers and then we used to have Barrington Levy, you know, Barrington Levy didn't come touch the mic because okay? young Barrington Levy I try to make it mean. On so Stereograph? Stereo- yeah, Barrington Lee is sing pan stir you have um you have Papa Tayan and you have a wood papi, you have you have um Pupa, remember them even even Billy Boy and all them guys that used to come sing pan the girl, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Billy Boy and all of them come sing and then but John Jo now John Jo John Jo John Jo now start to get into the producing business because Linval Linval must say vibes them up, you know. Mm-hmm. And then one night him called me one side and said to me, said, just go. Never sing a you know. When you draw him, you know. And I said to him, said, John, you don't know, say, when you want me to touch him with a singer, when I never hear it, you, you shouldn't come check me Wednesday when I look over the sound. I make sure so the sound in a good condition to come out. But he said, just go, trust me. I have to tell you, said, that singer, you're bad. You know? And I have to listen. Mm-hmm. Me, me, me take him, me take him, me, me just take him the idea of it and start to see this Barrington, Joe Barrington Levy. So, what? Wow, you just sound good. Mm-hmm. You know, you just sound good, man. And Barrington Levy gets a little first segment there. But by the time I dance, I don't, me have, me have to, me have to go back and listen to me select, go, listen to the dub them and start. The Barrington Levy have an early selection and Barrington Levy have the selection where at the time that the eyes of the dance done the dance, crowd are coming and pens at you know and dance second on Barrington Levy band. Hmm. band, and, this band, is, band. and this is on stereograph. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Cause I've never to tell you the truth, I don't ever remember hearing a stereograph with Barrington Levy on it. Ever. Yeah, because you know, and and, and I think him get a little bit of real symbolic in the second half that you know. Hmm. Okay, so you guys are there, you guys are doing your stuff, stereograph. But I know at one point Jamaica was getting really crazy. You said a lot but of we, but, bad boy but, business. Yeah, but you see them when you used to be regular on those songs, like Barry Brown, because Barry Brown was the top singer. Mm-hmm. And you have Tristan Palmer come up to as well, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you have, and you have Sugar Man, because Sugar Man love, love the song business, too, you know, because I'm a theme song, because I'm a say, youth man promotion. Mm-hmm. And you have Tony Tuck. And all them people there, you know? Because I remember when you would play a lot of um, Barry Brown selection. You see when Barry Brown is playing, Barry Brown is done in the dance. Mm, Barry Brown was the top guy, you know what I mean? Because when you put on Far East and, and the high fashion dog, man, Barry Brown was the, was the artist. Bless him, so as you can push out there, you know? <laughs> This is so crazy. We just started this conversation. Look how many people have passed on already that's left their mark on the reggae business. It's it's so crazy how many people has passed through and how many people are there. A lot of people. A lot of people who we know. Ah, that's why I have to give thanks that you're alive today because uh, a lot of people who we know pass, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Lots yeah. of people. And at the, same t- at the same time to know what's been happening with me, 
as a big selector now, you have to start, I start my production skill from then. Start to produce the liquid in because you want to draw something on a sound, your sound don't play. So Barry Brown, I do the special them and, and all them things there, what we call special now, I sing about the sound. We started that as well too. When I sing about King Sturgeon, yeah, Junior Delgado and all of them man there. Dennis Brown, yeah, man there, Greg Isaacs, you know what I mean? Because I heard in that same stereograph versus stereophonic, I heard uh, a special. I said, hold on, but this is in the 70s. I didn't realize that's how long specials have been being played. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sing more King stereograph sound to make you move and all, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, we, we will stop at the game, start in the game, because no people right now wouldn't realize that the, the amount of work mm -hmm. I put in the music business, not even the government and, and all the people. Because when you, when you, you're alive today, mm -hmm. and, but I, I, get, I, I get some awards, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I see people who come after you who, who never fled them big them up. Mm -hmm. But you know, but the people, the people, the people they love me. Up to today, the people them love me because some place I go to them people mm -hmm. tell me about dances. So I'm happy that the people were loving me so much. You know what I mean? No yeah, man, original just screw. This is it. when I even to get an opportunity like this, you brought up his name, the individual from Canada you're talking about is Marlon Brando. Brando is the one that really made this happen right here. He said, yo, Just Screw is somebody you need to talk to. And when I said, yeah, I said 100% want to talk yeah. to somebody like you. you yeah, know? because you see, we, we, I, I grew in this music business. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I started off in this music business with the love of it because them time when you play the song, you wouldn't get any money. I get $30. $30 to play the song. But you have to go do your work. So mm -hmm. they have to lunch time. Yeah, work all the way out of the east. They have to take your lunch time because make sure so everything all right to the song. Mm -hmm. So we never start off and we getting no big money. $30 you have to play the song until, you know, you have to start to think different because now you start to have kids. Mm -hmm. Young man having kids, you know. You understand so, that. Like, yes, yeah, so you have to look in after kids, you know what I mean? So you have to set yourself up proper. Yeah, because you want to be a father because you, you, you will learn about the father thing because you, I, I don't know what it is to call on a father. Mm -hmm. Nothing. My mother is my mother and father. I get that a hundred percent. Question for you with stereograph before we before we leave the whole stereograph situation. When you were there, did was that when it got crowned King Stereograph at that time there? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. How did that happen? Um, yeah, people I, I, you couldn't I couldn't you see so much things happen. Are you trying to survive? You know, violent Jamaica with PMP and labor, right? You get all kinds of things happen to you. Cause I, I can yeah. No, sometimes talking, no, you can tell you, I could tell you a story about Tivoli Garden. Go ahead. I want to hear this from But in that stereograph, it's real symbolic. Okay, so we're going to get there just now then. Let's finish stereograph and we'll get there. Yeah. So, you be in there and him crown King Stereograph because it's sound bad. Because remember, say it I come off a of King Tubby, so King Stereograph. Mm -hmm. So bad sound, I play a tune, enough tune. King Tubby is a feed it. Because King Tubby is a feed proud, you know, say a sound a carrier on the banner, a, the banner, a how him play a sound, play a dub, rubber dub, you know what I mean? And then you know, say you have a selector who draw a dub hard. Mm -hmm. You even find the time to go down at King Tubby Street to go mix your own dub, like a four track thing when you mix your own dub. So you had something extra, extra, extra special. Yeah, man, you mix, because sometimes you know, your imagination, Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't like to start your dub? Cause you know sometimes you, cause you learn again. You, you want your dub to start. You want to go so. Mm -hmm. You want you, you line up everything. And you want as the as the as the as the as the drum roll and drum go so. Doom! You just go so draw up everything. And you hear do 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 do
With people, when people hear the dub selection, them draw them, the crowd make up enough nice before ranking joke and say a word. Hmm. Just start in the dub. And then them time the two, you have to play a one turn table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to be creative because them time are two turn table business. So you have, you, 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 you get an idea because this is what you call, that's why the producer, and I'm the producer, I produce the sound when it goes out musically. And then the thing say, how oh, you do to make it sound different. So when you have the general, you have the general, you, uh, you, 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 you cut a double off of this and use the, just the, the intro. Quack, 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 quack. And then you hear boo 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 So people by thinking say, mix it, mix up. So. <laughs> but upon the one turn table, you go so. Mm -hmm. I was very, I was, I was very active on one turn table. I have one forty-five in my hand and take off the one that down and put on the next one that split on me because you keep the thing going hot. Mm -hmm. Take off one, put on one, and you cut some dub sometimes when you when you go some when you go some and cut the dub, you put a small one with the one where you want to play on top, and you other one that don't take it out, go so boom right away. No waste of time. <laughs> People think that mix your mix. You have to oh, be creative. You have to be extra creative if you stay in the air. Draw mm -hmm. selection. Because if you see how Jamaica is work out, you have a few guys you have with make them name of selector. Mm -hmm. You have me, you have Danny Dredd, you have Isla, we have Isla who is on the Jalab, so Jalab song. Mm -hmm. And you have Danny Dredd who play it. Papa Roots and you know, mm -hmm. and Archie uh, stuff right there. So Inspector will come in after a while. Mm -hmm. Crazy. And and these kind of selectors are different type of selection. You now guy you select a cuss and a cuss people and a cuss all thing, you know. But I said go. It was more of a creative thing. You said you started to produce when you were on Stereograph. What was the first song or first rhythm or first thing that you would produce when you're on Stereograph? You know, some like a version of Freedom Blows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, like, I'm like a person of freedom blues because them time the freedom blues was a big bad tune. Da, na, 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 na. And you go, son, yeah, when the crowd they did ranking Joe, they say, This one can only, any sound called playing this one shall end up in jail and get no meal. And people call you a wicked, a wicked cut up, a wicked cut up freedom blues, a wicked cut up real rock, a wicked cut up high fashion dub, a wicked cut up, um, you know, I mean, lots of the big bad dub them. Mm -hmm. Shankai Sheik. We have one version of Shankai Sheik. So the next guy, we never play the regular one. May I play some, may I, may I lick off all of the rhythm then. Well, you have your own version, your own style at that time there. Yes, we have my own style because you have to be, that's why you have to separate yourself from the pack. Mm -hmm. You separate yourself by doing things differently. Mm -hmm. Cause people, people did say, yes, just go select a, da 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 da, you know, select a, and you know, stir up now. So we, 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 we decided now to rewind back to racing Malik. So we never go back to race. Cause racing Malik has to come check me. Cause me and him would like a, would like a father figure. So he might have come here, come check me and say, well, I come home back in the school because everybody, cause racing Malik was a very peaceful sound. Mm -hmm. All the police around it, and them telling we need security. So Serbia was too violent at the time. Yeah. So we go back home. We, 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 we go back home. We, we plan to go back home mm -hmm. to, to race Mali. And we say yes. And race Mali, them plan a dance down uh, Chisholm Avenue, Albert I say. Ranking Joe and Jasko is, is on the way home. Hmm. That time you live at Catburn Pen, I'm going to tell you. You know what I mean? You get up tonight and say, you know, say not going back to real simile because once you reach on Walton Park Road, all kind of ghost people are going through because now you're left in a big bad zone and I go back to a big, a, the bigger bad zone. Mm -hmm. And when the, when the taxi come to me, and we reached on Walton Park Road. It was like a carnival, the place black off. Black. When I mean, say ranking Joe and Jasko, I come back to race in Bali. Mm -hmm. The place black. When 
when we are symbolic, you know, so the taxi arrive and him, and him come his car to and the crowd see me. Mm -hmm. The crowd see me. And once the crowd see I'm there, it took me a little while to get the goose pimple out of me. Mm -hmm. But I look at my son and said, This is where I started. The big bad Ray. You had brought it up. Who was the special guest? on Ray Symbolic one night that you would well, well I went to the, uh, me, me, if you get into the car we have a day what happened now the night every this night you have a year mm -hmm. that night now in the sun when I look on the sun and get nearer to the sun and people see me they actually go stand up around the sun it was a nice making to see me around the sun and then start to play the sound and think Dillinger come there ranking you a chat and Dillinger come around the sound and Dillinger burn Babylon and I when I listen to him and I, I was listening to him mm -hmm. Babylon this and Babylon that but he said I hear him said and when I say Babylon and to me have the mix I mean drop the rhythm mm -hmm. I don't mean the police and the soldier I mean the wicked man of Babylon we drop him back the rhythm because the rear and we get the idea now because of doop doop Doop, 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 and the place done created something. Doop, 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 doop. Wow, wow. Like, so you invented mixing artists wrong a song? Yes. Start to because we have, we have the, the, the mix and we start to doop, doop. You hit the rhythm around because it's a proper mix. A doop, hmm. and you ease up, doop, drop out the bass, bring in the treble, drop that out. Because Ray Symbolic was a, that's so why they call him Ray Symbolic. It was sweet. Mm -hmm. And then you back to racing, but like everything was going fine until one day. One day, Claudy, Claudy, mass up, come check racing, but like, mm -hmm. and say, he might keep, he might walk in bar in a garden, and he want a big bad sound, racing, but like to come down there and play some tune. Mm -hmm. And that was a night. That night, you know, we go down there and play the tune, and, and you know, road boy again, them, not road boy, them drink up them juice and them lick two and be nice and all kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Even me, them come to me and look for me and say to me, say, hey, power boy, you see the position that we get into sometimes? Mm -hmm. Me, there again, you know, I call me power boy. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the man who had, the man who had chat to me said the man with me 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 when me I grew up rose lane mm -hmm. me, me know him basking and him come and say and when me said to him so, so me know him and the man said to me hey power boy yeah 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 hey power boy that son and all the that tonight you know that time in ten you know you're, you're young and you're sharp you said to him say how can I my son you tell me that and him goes up, boom, and him lick me on my chest, and they realize the thing serious. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he said, poor boy, the sound all the time tonight, you know, and me realize the thing serious. Few shot fire and all kind of thing, and man get grazed, so and, and you know, you, you kick back and you're cold. So I know you realize, say, thing is very serious. And then real symbol hold him there, and then real symbol eventually come. And then tell Ray, say, Ray, the sound on level that night, that time, Ray Symbolic used to play 17 MacArthur Avenue, mm -hmm. if I'm right here. I used to live in that yard, and my yard of the sound play, you know, and the Monday night dance, had a big dance where he might keep. But through Ray Symbolic, no, he was the kind of man who he mixed up with everybody, and People take it away, but Ray Symbolic was a fun person. Ray Symbolic never really mean nobody no harm. Um, Ray Symbolic love to talk to the police in life, talk to the road boy. <laughs> he doesn't love everybody. <laughs> and that's the same thing. So when my keep a dance and, and then tell me, you, you have big bad police like Jerry Pollock and them and they go the place and then the boy and all of them and they round the sound. And then you have a little crew around the sound him, Sailor, Sailor and them and they round the sound to and the sound. Them come for the sound and get the sound down there. So they, when we somebody come now, man, I'm saying, boy, I read the sound now, let us say tonight, you know. So on a stay, so then tomorrow, the morning night holiday, big holiday dance, and we have to drive out. 
but me and Jay was at the valley guard, me a shake, so let me go on my yard, look at me in my phone, me nerve the rapper. Mm-hmm. And then, and then you go home and everything, and you go home and you can't eat your food, you go home and you, you, you just be, you, you, you just go through something where of all your years in the business, you go through something new. Mm-hmm. And then you heard the man in real symbolic come call me and say, boy, I didn't send a man come to just grow. You have to come play the sound. And you are the selector who want to hear come play. Real symbolic in a Tivoli Garden Center. That the sound moved to the center now. Mm-hmm. You have to come and come play. And you have to know them time, they say, they make you know, say, if you don't come, you're done with sound business, your career over. So when they come to me in the morning, they know, I have something to think about mm-hmm. for the rest of the day, for the dance tonight. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, as a soldier, I, I decided to I say, I'll step up because you're young and you're young and you're fearless. And if you never done it the night, don't mess up. You know, when they're done it again, because they make sure they say they love you. Yeah. You have, all, you have all the man, they know them telling you. Nuff Tap Man, Claudy, Bayer, Jim, all of them man there. Hmm. Mark, Raphael, this, that, and that. So, you, you, you know, you yeah, step up. Let me say, all right, you know, so I'll play this song. And the night there, the night there, me, 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 I don't think Rankin rank Joe Runner, and I'm not come come play the song the night. Mm-hmm. But in, in Don Tivoli Garden, you have, you have DJ, you could have, once me have draw the wicked selection, I have DJ who could have keep up. I used to have massive dread, blessing soul, massive dread. Him just dead, dead, dead. This is massive, and I am attracted. Him, him was a bad DJ, and you have Gully Rat was a bad DJ too. Okay. You understand? And the night then, him, him one of the time when I go to England, Radigan gonna ask me. Why did you draw 17 pieces of death in the arena? I said, this is how I feel. You, you, you're in a zone where, you know, say you've you been demand to play the sound in this zone. Mm-hmm. So right away, you, 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 you mind a thing. You just draw some bad tune. Yeah. Death in the arena. No, no, death in the arena. Pure death in the arena. Mm-hmm. That the man there saying, come say, where are you doing? That's who you send come to Buy I say, what you drink? Da 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 drink a two of them, I draw a two and see me. Because I have to be me, I have to play a save me because I forget about everything and I have to play nice. Mm-hmm. Even though it's you alone because you don't have your party, which is ranking but, Joe. Uh, they, have, they have massive dread and gully rat and some other people, you know, we did it too, you know, a couple of people come where we, we get the chance to hold the mic for themselves. What a good dance though, you know, dance nice and I will grow over that, you know, then you have to grow over that because now you have to go back up in your area because then people eventually find out, say, because I raise him like I said, the sound broke down and then you know, say, sound can't broke down and raise him like I'm a good technician and everything. Mm-hmm. Then the sound come out, say, then it's down there, get Tibali a play. And we, we went, and then one other time we played in Tibali when, when, when Robert, Mr. Marley, Bob Marley, they did, when we shot him and him come back from firing, we go with him down there and race him a little string up and Bob Marley sing and race him a little song. Bob and Marley sung he, and race him a little song in Tivoli Gardens. Yeah, yeah, me, me and Manny Time Bice have come through the song. Yeah, man. And when Bob Marley, then I remember clearly Bob Marley sing and go, or they just go sit down and everybody had talked to him. So Bob Marley at the time, eh, Bob Marley was fearless, and Bob Marley never a thing about Bob Marley. Me, me in the world one time, I have to live for the people, them and the, the people and the people and this and people. And Bob Marley come sing, mm-hmm. and when he done sing, him still right in the middle of the center, and he go to the grass part and reason everybody. Yeah, crazy. That was a special guest. Us, I new in my mind, but I wanted to hear the story from your mouth because I can't remember Bob Marley singing on any other song. Yeah, but you see, them time they read him, get the time because you're excited to read it, cheer him and everything, but Bob Marley sing and race him, Bali. I don't think Bob Marley, race him, Bali, race him, Bali, 
playing in a church. That's how the sound was very creative. A man who a man who wants a song to play in our church, bring the sound in if you play some church music. And we, we, we go. You know what I mean? And then after that, we shoot the right long clip come, go check daddy right. I say my look for ranking you and just go more carry sir England. Carry mm-hmm. along make some big tune up there. When they real long clay, that they have to tell him say, boy, I'm around my son. Where them be real symbolic, him find real symbolic. And say, Europe want to see Rankin, Joe, and Jasper. Mm. Yeah, Europe want to see us. So we get a passport. We have never had a passport. We get passport together and everything get together. Mm-hmm. Real symbolic pop the sound. When I send the record, you know, the sound was shit. The whole sound system? Yeah, you know, some of the box never come with little feet and da da da. Ship the sound, pack up everything, amplify everything. When we touch down in England, mm-hmm. it's a new year of a sound business because England never will pass sound, but two we are coming from Jamaica, we are, we are spread out the sound, make everybody see a selection of going on DJ a chat. Mm-hmm. And the first night we play in England, we play on PS name. Um, Phoebe's Club mm-hmm. on Amherst Road. Cause them places, them places it was so big. Them have, them usually use one section of the place so that three songs couldn't play in a race in Alex Chimo, the sound like that, and control the whole place and block off that round there. And when people witness the whole of England come, all who come from Europe come to Jasco and play the song. Mm-hmm. They were along the score, big. Big, big, big. So that instead of a band, he actually brought a sound system. Instead of the regular ba- backing band, he wanted a sound system to back him as a singer. That yeah, time. Yeah, don't want, um, want the people to see a proper sound system. Mm-hmm. And at that time, people were getting cassettes. Mm-hmm. I hear about ranking you and just to cassette around. Yeah. So, were you guys the first sound to leave the island to go somewhere outside of Jamaica to play? Yes, Ray Symbolic. Crazy. Because one, one of the dances I know that you guys went to the UK and played was with a song, I think, named Frontline or something. Like that. And from what yeah, I remember... We, mm-hmm, go, go ahead. Yeah, we played all the song over England. We played with... Um, Sir Coxon, mm-hmm. Shaka, Frontline, People's Sound, oh, again. And um, we play with, we probably play with V-Racket too, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Saxon. Because we, we was, we was, we, we was entertaining people and they was, they was, they, they, they actually tell me these days when I see them now, mm-hmm. say they was learning the craft or we do it. So more sound man, most 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 sound man, it really loved me because of me. And when me realize we go to England and turn the place upside down to Europe, play all over the place, big dance I keep. I saw hear them say ranking Jed was up in England them time there, and him come round the sound. But he wasn't one of the he wasn't the they select the DJ for the sound. But you know he got ready. Mm-hmm. If they are England and big bad Jamaican sound there. He put up his neck and in there, my DJ too. He was down to a score good. All over, all over Europe and England we have played until we spent a few good months up there, you know. Okay, so this whole sound system was so nobody, Ray Symbolic was not playing at all in Jamaica for a couple of done, months while you guys were gone. Done, 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 done. done. There, Jamaica. Everybody is a Ray Symbolic come up and see him there up there. Up there in England I play I really see my good at up. Anybody I come up, I look a package at dub or I think I come. Mm-hmm. And we have saved up for money and everything and I live life from there. And, and it's a new era for me because I'm out of Jamaica now. Mm-hmm. And it went, it went for a good few months till we decided after a while, so we go back home. Mm-hmm. And really see my good come to England on the Friday, start out the business and fly out back, I ship the sound to leave on the Monday we there. Mm-hmm. Um, we ship the sound already. And we are leave the and we and we are like because we are paying like four years and 
and Bali are in all them places in England. Big Dan, they have all one of them pay with, pay up there with, with Shaka, yeah, Shaka, mm -hmm. and Sir Coxon, and Frontline. Big Dan, Black Heart, all up at Streatham. Yeah. Everywhere. We have, we have, we have sad winds when I dance, we have, we have four years, but I dance and lean. Mm -hmm. And we are playing a dig bit hard in a bad we are we are, are playing out of town, we are playing everywhere in England. Sound of gone kick till we do a good time of them we come home. But when we are when we are both to come home the sun and night, we out of here sit down, we make a phone call back a yard on a Jamaica and say we similarly crash and died. So that, this was another new beginning now. By the time you touch on in a Jamaica, it's a new, new, new beginning. We are dead. So you come home back to a new beginning. Mm. How did how did that make you and Rankin Joe feel? Especially as you said, he was more like a father figure for you. And he was the one that really said, okay, you No, he was Rankin Joe was not a father figure for me. Rankin Joe was like he wanted to do things differently, but he wasn't. Mm -hmm. but how he, did that make you feel when you heard you know, that racing? You know, that, 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 was, that was devastated for us, man. Mm -hmm. when, when we call Jamaica and them tell us, me ask them three times, wish Ray, wish Ray. I don't know one Ray symbol. Mm -hmm. you, you, your mind messed up. Wish Ray, wish Ray to them. When you actually can you imagine you eating the journey mm -hmm. 10 hours from England and knowing that Ray symbol is dead. So we now go back with kickback sound in dead. Mm -hmm. So when you come back now, your new life, things are right again. Mm -hmm. Things are right. Things are right over there for a few months and things are right. You touch, you, you try to you try to get over by it by playing Emperor of Fate and couple of songs, but it it wasn't right. So because he had died, you guys could you guys didn't really feel that you guys could carry on the legacy of race symbolic just playing out no. the song? Know what happened? We could have carried on the legacy if we somebody did have somebody conscious mm -hmm. to work with me because race man was a businessman, they have car supply, place him have this, da, da 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 da. But his brother who take over was not a businessman for a second, couldn't mm -hmm. have any business, you know. He, 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 he was not a person you could have reasoned with, mm -hmm. no, and it never happened. Till a few months now, you've been there, and then one day your phone ring. I will live up at Bugan, live at Kansan Spring now, mm -hmm. uptown today. And your phone ring one day, and him say, Somebody's on the phone, want to talk to you. Hello? And there was an excited man on the phone said, Yo, just go. Oh, this is Mikey, Mikey Jarrett. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, he Mikey Jarrett, near Cali from New York. A yeah. New York time now. Mm -hmm. Mike Jarrett said, New York time now. He said, We are saying, him said, Sound system. He said, Really? He said, Yes, man, come. He said, I'm ready right away. He said, You ready? He said, I'm ready. I'm tell Joe, I said, Joe, a man here, Mike Jarrett, I said, If you come to New York, come play a song. That time he go back to race some of the brothers, I said, Lend me some selection. He did not lend me no selection. Hmm. None. So I go around and pick up a couple of little things and things, but I tell Mike Jarrett, say, me I come in with a symbolic selection. Mm -hmm. But I leave still. And when I leave, when I reach England, I mean, um, New York, mm -hmm. Mike Jarrett come meet me at the airport, and that Mike Jarrett was like a man who I knew all my life. He hugged me up and called me his brother. Never forget that my life. Mm -hmm. Mike Jarrett hugged me up. All when I try to tell him, say, I'm not record him, say, no, no problem. Mikey Jarrett. <laughs> Mike, Mikey, Mikey Jarrett carry one. Mikey Jarrett was something. And Mikey Jarrett carry one in Mother Yard. Mm -hmm. When she was in bed, I put her in her room. Say, Go on, sleep. I'm on. I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. I tell you, muscle, the early morning, we are like moving up and down and moving up and down. And somebody come to the room and say, What is this? Oh, what's the house? Run me out the street. Run me out. Now the cool thing that we draw we have and, and, and go to the door and, and, and stay near. Me, me, 
Ini bayar mak mak kita jual nama tu kahalan. Hmm. Mak berdua seperti aku jual kita jual apa? And then couple of later, you see him come and say, "What? See your mother run me out." <laughs> so we went to New York and and Mikey Jarrett welcomed me and Mike. But me I tell Mikey, I said, "I'm not a record." Mikey Jarrett said, "You need to just go, you know." So what do you mean? He said, "People they will love you whenever I know." And he came to meet Sons Junior. Hmm. Sons Junior and give me the warmest welcome. I said, "Just go. Any music you want to play, you get it." Mm-hmm. He came to meet a man named Sir Tammy's, mm. but he make me meet Papa Mox. Papa Mox in New Jersey with I'm of the sound. Yeah. yeah. But we meet all the sound man that we call name. We need Claude, African love. We meet Don't Beat, all them show me peer love. Mm-hmm. Them show me peer love and, you know, I'm a restart about my life in America. Okay, so at this time, this wasn't just a visit. You kind of went to move to the States at this time here. No, we don't move to the States. We just move to go play the sound. Mm-hmm. As in, as Mikey Jarrett invites you to come play the sound. Because mm-hmm. sound business was there. Was in we know sound business was there because sound Juno was there. Don't beat was there, the ruler. And and African love and any other little sound. Mm-hmm. But we, when... America now understand because they, they bring us to Gil Bailey and Gil Bailey introduce us and just crew is in the house. Hmm. Phone start call up everybody to just crew in the house. Mm-hmm. And the man them plan big dance with Bill Moore Ball who went black out the place. Papa Mook's high five band. Because mm-hmm. everybody wants to see ranking you and just crew. Mm-hmm. And it worked. So we work it work now. Papa Mox lived down a live live a new Pattis, New Jersey, mm-hmm. and Pim linked him. So we were sort of a player more regular from bit from Amington Ballroom in a New Jersey. Mm-hmm. So people are drive across what I come here, Papa Mox high five because the the artist thing in America right now is ranking Joe and Jasco. Mm-hmm. Life change. We going to live at Brooklyn on a crown night. Mm-hmm. While playing Papa Moke that lives in New Jersey. And how often did that song actually play out? Regular. I started to play regular now, man. Mm-hmm. Big bookings are going now. Papa Moke, Papa Moke's high five become the number one song in America. We travel go everywhere. Every DJ will come in, the dad will come in, D must have come in. Culture, they might come in. Uh, everybody, I decided the song we have to be. You have to be there. Behind mm-hmm. Mikey Jarrett, I boots it to a Mikey Jarrett was a good Mikey Jarrett was a man that gave the vibes, man. That yeah. man, Mikey Jarrett. Mm-hmm. Give, Mikey me, Jarrett. give me a couple of big nights you remember on Papa Moke that sticks out in your mind forever. Well, you saw Alton Ari and, and Black, Alton Black, I think, you know. And you saw, um, where my boy was the other day, the, the original gangster. Louis Rankin. Louis Rankin. Mm-hmm. We have Louis Rankin around the sound too. Mm-hmm. We have culture them. You know what I mean? We have shiny that come too. Mm-hmm. Everybody have to, So we, we, we start to have our own New York City America thing now. Cause me I like travel go all of us and go play a song. Mm-hmm. Me I travel go all go play a song in America now. Mm-hmm. Because it's gonna this was a new beginning for me. Yeah. And then what I started to do now, I make money start to fly back down to Carlo King Tobis and say, Tobis, why oh, oh, come in? And Tobis, I say, you want to come? He said, yes. He said, Tobis, leave them three days for me because Tobis was a businessman because now they're America now. I want to back, I want to get myself back and live big. Big rubber dub selection then. Mm-hmm. And once we touch them in a Jamaica and, and go check King Tubs at Waterhouse and, and cut out say boy, I may cut X amount of dub and cut dubs are busy, man. You have pay up the cutting and everything. Dub are cut like crazy. Label up dub. Ranking Joe now. They're back in America buy me ticket to come up back Friday. Mm-hmm. So me now is a travel every Thursday or so. I travel to America or place on the card. 
me make it up the now me come back home. But every week me I travel go all about go play song. I fly out of Jamaica regular. Hmm. Yeah. And then you know you go already living in England for so long. Yes, I'm a start family up there. In, in the so, UK, because remember, it's Jamaica to UK, back to Jamaica, now to the States. But as you said, you have family in the UK now. The start family of the school. <laughs> the left family I grew up, you know, the mm -hmm. band soon and all kind of thing. And, and spending some time in America. Mm -hmm. America was all right, but me never, me, me do it because we need to survive again. Mm -hmm. We need to start on this thing, so but we make money and everything, and build up the, we build up the sound system in America now. So you know, say while we come out now, sons Juna don't beat them up to grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody have to grow now. Third mm -hmm. time is have to grow, and everybody else who grow, sound I grow. Everybody because, have to grow because mm -hmm. you guys came up with this. The yard vibes are fresh, yard vibes. So then you're open pushing the, the fire. Mm -hmm. Open the piece, man. Mm -hmm. Open the piece. And at this time on Papa Mook, were you guys actually bringing up any artists to come DJ on Papa Mook, or you guys were just dealing with who was there? No, car people coming up. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people were there and people will come and man and fly up. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, man and fly up, you know what I mean? And it might have been. Them plan dance and have man as guests, but I can't remember everybody. Mm -hmm. It was just one of those. And how long were you on Papa Mook for? A good while, you know. A good while because I must say, race the Malik done with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Papa Mook, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm a son that we're me on now. Mm -hmm. I fly up to me, I live on the crown heights. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, till after a while. Me, me go back to England, you know, because I like England and plus me the SM it have a new band, you know. Mm -hmm. So you, you went back to go take care take care of family. Yeah. So, so when you got to England now, you left Rank and Joe in the States or you where was Rank and Joe at this time, you know? Me left Rank me left, me left Rank and Joe. Left Rank and Joe America because I'm like America. Mm -hmm. me left him down there and but occasionally, being in England, if I dance, plan, I fly down for the dance. Any amount of dance plan, I fly down for it. Mm -hmm. But my me, art me, now, they are England now. Mm -hmm. I start again, I me, me, me meet, me, me meet Green Sleeve, and I start to tell me, because people, because you know me have a name. Mm -hmm. So when I meet a man, and, and my, everybody have them idea put to you. Say just go them selection the way I play up on the sound I hope them. I say I'm my own them. So they make me start to take selection from me and I start to put out record. I start to put out record and I do my own little thing. Meet up with a man named Jetstar, Mr. Palm, and him, him, you know what I mean? And then he know that buy the record. So yeah, I know the record see you no know, record. This is where I'm going to live now. Yeah. Okay, so when you got to you, were you playing any other sound when you decided to play any other sound in the UK, or this is no. when you went full into production now? For production, I mean, never play no song because up there, no, I never play no song. This kind of production, no, because you know, the, the, the big record company, Green Steel, mm -hmm. they might give me the vibes to go feed, which I did, and at the, same, at the same time, we go feed. We did it in England. We are up. We, you know, England is the home now. Everybody know me. They get they get invited to everywhere. My special guest in when we go. Anything I keep them send invitation and we can walk in and them them treat me well and um and one night we go out and watch show and we book up and Barrington leave it. Mm, you know what? Leave that thought right there because we're gonna leave the production for the second part of this conversation but you see for this right here how i want to end off this conversation i want to end it off on daddy uroy okay because if anybody knew a daddy uroy stereograph it would be somebody like just no it's a, it's a daddy daddy uroy you know 
it might be energy daddy Raya, daddy Raya, come home and when you go meet daddy Raya, daddy Raya, have all four speaker because daddy Raya realizes his own kick mm-hmm. daddy Raya, when daddy Raya go and I come back he is carrying a turntable daddy Raya carry a speaker mm-hmm. he might carry a mic Daddy Raya that come with something, so Daddy Raya always that build the sound. Daddy Raya come with a piece of amplifier. Every tour Daddy Raya come back, he come with something else. Mm-hmm. Cut, sit, but Daddy Raya know I was the producer upon the sound, so Daddy Raya never realized, say, when Daddy Raya hear some, hear some selection, I draw all the sound. I don't think you even realize that I take my money and I lick for him and I put DJ sing up on it because them time there. If you say to, if you say to Gay, if you come sing something, Gay, you see me because King's story, you have to kind of dry, you know what I mean? If you say Tristan Pong, I say Barry Brown, you know what I mean? And anybody, you, you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Daddy Rai, Daddy Rai, you know, Daddy Rai was a time of my life, you know what I mean? What were, Daddy, what were some memories? You have a daddy, daddy right that he you would never forget also. Well, daddy right, you know, say, you know, say as I as I look at you to the room, daddy right and say, Daddy Ryan, right, I blaze the chalice. Very enthusiastic. We start to blaze the chalice though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I blaze the chalice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, we have blaze the chalice and daddy right is right, that tell you say, Daddy Ryan, right, I make sure tell you say screw. Mm-hmm. It's when you show that big tune, eh? find a bigger one for you. Mm. You know, yeah, you know, and when you, when you catch a sound and you, and you get your time for you chew it, you, you might make it notes, you know, ease up. Mm-hmm. When you ease up, when your time run out. But once, I must tell you something, I, I, and, and it's true, when we clash with a sound, you know, you know, I'm you know, nervous, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, when the nervous go away, when I get my time, come and I put on the needle, pan that record and go so. I'm two eighteen and the crowd say real. All of my nervous is gone. Mm-hmm. Selection of mad selection. We have two selection, cause daddy where I know we hear him. Daddy where I say, two that. Daddy where daddy where I say, when you when you get the chance, when you get when you get your hour. You must milk your hour and chew everything in that hour. You chew everything that I was up. Vibes when it comes to sound. One of the greatest sound man that ever I have seen there. For sure. If And is there anything else that he told you that to this day you remember? And how close were you with Daddy Roy? Because we know he passed the other day. Were you close with him even up to... Yeah, the- I, 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 I close with Daddy Roy up to his dying day. Well, I will look at the difference, but you know... Mm-hmm. We we'll put it aside because I did really deeply love him, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And after we have a look at the friends, I start to go look for him and sit down and reason with him. Mm-hmm. And one of the last reasons when Daddy Rai was getting very getting very poorly, I have a look at reason with him and I said to him, say, Daddy Rai, you know, say, why well, there's the sound system business now work like how we know it. Mm-hmm. And he asked me, he said, what I was thinking. And I was sitting to boy, daddy, right? For the great sound that Sturge have is, because remember, you know, all sound vanish. And the great rubber dub sound was up playing still with it. Then, because you know, you have Inspector Willie come in and do him thing. Mm-hmm. And what Inspector Willie was doing was a continuation of what I was doing. Draw the tune and the same way I draw it. Mm-hmm. Joe's the wheels come in there with Charlie and the two of them keep the name strong. Mm-hmm. So I said to Daddy Rai, Daddy Rai, I'd like to put the sound in a museum. Mm-hmm. And he looked at me good and said, What you say? Yes, Daddy Rai, the sound here. The sound here will be built because me and him build it. Mm-hmm. I did it with him and him bring the speaker come and go get box bill and this, that, and maybe I mean, the I mean, job, you know. We run every day with him. We have born Charlie sound yeah. We have we have, we, have, we stream up the song and we have peer selection and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and him, and he show you certain things about the music and he always make you know say the peace is very important. Mm-hmm. Him say when you when you when you're setting the peace and you hot and you make it hot, you get it hotter and you get it hotter, and after a while now 
you, you, you boil it down to the rubber dub side where everybody get close and just. And then when you get on the segment, you, you melt them melt. The crowd love you. Daddy right. Yeah, Daddy right. Daddy right done his job. Daddy yeah. right said he done his he done his job as a great selector, great sound man, and a great DJ. He does his job. So Daddy right for me, the more good. I spend, I spend, I see him recently. Yeah. Recently before him did me go look for him when he weak. When I hear him sick, I go look for him. I go there and sit with him and he was he was very he was very very welcome. He was very he was very welcome to to have me. Mm-hmm. And he says to me, Well, one night I go to an award show mm-hmm. and there was an award to pick up for Daddy you right, Sturgill. Mm-hmm. And the man them said, There is no better person to pick it up than Jasko. And I went and represented Daddy right. And while I was sitting Daddy Rai, I don't have any other reason Daddy Rai said to me, say, see, from now on, just row, you are going to represent me. Hmm. He said to me, you will represent me. Any award to pick up, him tell the people when him call him, contact just row, he will represent me because he's, we were close. We were very close. Hmm. So Daddy Rai, you know, I'm doing him job. I'm all good. Make him name one of the greatest DJ. Him never know him. I say, we the town and tell the people. Mm. He didn't know. But I stand there beside him and see him get bigger and bigger. Crazy. You know what I mean? I can remember when Daddy Ray the first long fish tail car. Drive it down clinking and drive back down. Gone pan tour and tour get big. Mm-hmm. Yeah man. Crazy. Boss, like, it's just it's it's just the the life you live and all the people that pass through and what you've seen has been amazing. And as I said, this part one here, this conversation was strictly your sound selecting and stuff. You see, when we connect again, that's when we go into production and managing because that's a whole different beast all to itself. Whole different thing. You understand. Are are you on any social media or anything where people could check out your, your selection of music and those type of stuff there? No, no, no. I'm not on any, you know. But my, yeah. my, my family... Mm-hmm. My family is telling me I must get on them because I tell them, say, you know, so I'm, a, I'm a private person and an and a easygoing person, mm-hmm. you know. I don't, I don't try to hear about the, the, the Facebook and how the Facebook work and everybody I put everything with them up on the Facebook. I don't have time mm-hmm. for that. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Me, me not really want to get in and then me, me I tell the people everything when I do. When I see the people and the people greet me, the people greet me well. Yeah. But my family, my my wife was telling me the other day that I I should just like we said, I must get a Twitter or whatever, you know, Twitter and make people know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Even if it's just from the musical part where okay, this is the the history of the music that you put up, stuff like that where you're still keeping your personal life personal, but your business, you have your business page and stuff like that. I recommend that, especially in the age that we're in right now. Thank you for the advice. No problem. Just screw. This has been an epic, crazy conversation that believe you me, when this touches, people are going to love this so much. Thank you so much for doing something like this with me today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for um, having me. Thank you very much. You know what I mean? Because you see what happens sometimes, even here in Jamaica, they, they, they don't know, they, they don't really interview me in Jamaica here, you know. Mm-hmm. I go around people and and people don't realize who until somebody like when like I said David Radigan was here doing a meeting over the school of music and everybody was the school of music was seeing this man busy getting the, the young artist them to play music by reggae month because we have a lot of going in you know? mm-hmm. reggae month and Jerry I'm a part of the creation of reggae month in Jamaica okay and and, and people were seeing me and one one night when Radigan said, there are people who travel to Jamaica, but there was a special man in the house who leave Jamaica and come to England and make himself one of the, the greatest, one of the great producers. And them say, he's over there. And when I stand up and take a bow, some people say, he, is you talking? I said, yes, it's me. And them say, so humble, they couldn't believe it was me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in Jamaica, they, they don't, even when I have, 
big song running the place. Nobody don't really come and talk to me. Yeah. And when I see sound business, I go on and see most of the sound man then. I see them and I know them, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's only one sound man. No, couple sound man who acknowledge me. The one with him, Ricky Chupa. Mm-hmm. Anywhere you see me, he make a fuss at me and tell people, say, I am his teacher. I admire, he admire everything about me. He needs to tea four time yard and come, and come listen to jazz school, Ricky Chupa. And, um, and, and modern day, I see Weepo, Weepo, he, he respected me, Weepo, but you see some of them other one and cancer, but you see, and Billy Slater, but you see no other one, they see you, they are very to see you. And I am the kind of person when I see somebody who I'm going to give some honor to, I, I introduce myself to them and tell them who me is. Mm-hmm. But in Jamaica, they, 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 they don't, they don't bother with the, with the foundation and I'm the foundation and I'm one of the foundation people of the reggae music business because all, all of the, all of the, all of the producers then and sound man who we had my friend, the Drew Creed and the Cox and Dad and the, and the King Tubbies and the Jack Ruby and Mikey Feet and, and Atani and all them, all them people there. You understand? And you have some of the producers them like, like Winston Riley and Gussie Clark, Gussie Clark, all of us there, it was there from then. And I am the only, I, I am one of the old producers who's living right now, mm-hmm. who done things with the music business, but we get into that. I am, I am the only one that I said there right now. And Gussie Clark, Gussie Clark is still alive. Mm-hmm. But you have people like Winston Riley and Jack Ruby and, and all those people and Duke Reed and, 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 and Sir Cox's dad, he loved me. He loved me because when he, when he made was a selector where I draw his old bus through the one and a mashup dance, he would have come to race symbolic and sit down and talk to me on a Sunday morning, come lean and talk about the dances then. But I wouldn't come to the dance, but now he knows that somebody's there. I draw through the one selection. Mm-hmm. When we go all America and I draw through the one selection, I trouble. New York used to love his two the one selection and them, you know. Mm-hmm. And we used to deliver them for all of the sound them. You ever tell me we do throw this two the one selection, you know, all of my selection them. How we may throw up tones of trouble. Hmm. Crazy. Screw. Just screw. Thank, Thank you, sir. You so 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 much salute for everything you've done in this business. And I'm so happy that. I'm one of the people that's going to actually get to put it out there and people are going to realize where yeah. all of this is really coming from. You understand? Yeah. Mr. Screw, yes, let me give you an outro. Me. No problem. Let me give you an outro until we connect again. Thank you. You, un- you understand? Thank so, you. all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out for now thank you this podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com